Recently I received some information about well-known YouTube user Nephilim Free. Nephilim Free has a history of internet perversion, including asking for lewd photos from other female YouTube users, as well as showing an interest in uh, some pretty interesting fetishes, as can be told by some of the things in his browser favorites. Recently, one of the now former moderators in Shock of God's chat room contacted me that Neff was hitting on her, and began talking to her in a provocative manner. The conversation between Nephilim Free and the female moderator starts off casually enough, but immediately the conversation becomes suggestive. Do you have a YouTube channel? I do. Damn. Fine calves and high heels route me. Woof. <laughs> I am a very straightforward man. Your face is so caressable. Okay, obviously I like to flirt. I want to be petted. Pet me, love. Pet me. I'd love to see those calves in seam stockings and five-inch sandals. I might have something like that. Do you? How wonderful. Now to be fair, there's nothing wrong with an older man hitting on a younger woman. We see it happen all the time. But it is Nephilim Free's actions after the fact that are most damning. Thanks to someone who frequents both Point Man Zero's Voxley chat room, that I frequent usually, as well as Shock of God's GVO chat room, Nephilim Free was made aware that we knew about his conversation with the female moderator and that we have screenshots of their conversation. Instead of owning up to his sexual desires and human needs, he goes into damage control mode and throws this girl under the bus and starts saying all kinds of things attacking her character. I would tell you what he said, but I'll let you hear it straight from the horse's mouth. This is the way the enemy works, okay? That's how Satan works, okay? An enemy, and she's, she's been in here pretending to be a Christian all this time, and he's not. She's an atheist. She hates God. And that's why she's coming here. And now we're hearing about some kind of uh, I did something to her video. And she's run away. And, and she'll never be back here again. I guarantee you. You see, folks, you have to be very skeptical of people. Very skeptical of people. Even people who kiss up to shock and get shock uh, mod status. Trying to save face, Neff has shot himself in the foot again by changing his story multiple times, as you can hear from the following clips. No, no. She messaged me and I said no such thing. Okay. Can you testify to that in any reasonable sense? Well, I've already, I just told you. No, I mean, uh, with... Well, there, well, there wasn't anything... There wasn't anything ex explicit about our conversation. Okay, whatever. Show me. Okay. Show me a screen capture of me saying something sexually explicit to her. Okay. Let's see that. Give me a moment. Right, right. Mm hmm. You do realize I was playing her fool, fool, don't you? With her come ons. Yeah. yeah. I'm see, I was playing her for a fool, right? I was smart to it. That's why I asked the questions that I did and played them for a fool. You see? Well, the video you guys are fabricating to put up on the internet is going to have a lot of fallacious in, uh, uh, in, uh, uh, statements in it. I, I, I did not have a sexual conversation with that girl. I did not have sexual relations with that woman. You see, Nephilim Free has this notion that Christians all have to stick together, no matter what slimy, disgusting things they do. Whether it's taking money from a sick kid's hospital, or whether it's being bigoted against homosexuals. It doesn't matter. Which would explain why Shock and Neff stick together so closely. But the fact is, Neff, atheists don't just attack Christians. The atheists on YouTube, big and small, such as DPR Jones, Potholer54, and myself, do not criticize and go after Christians because they are Christian. We go after everyone, including Muslims such as Dawa Films, and even other atheists such as when someone calls Brett Keane out on his latest douchebaggery, or the greatest example is Coughlin versus Thunderfoot. Neff, you have some twisted notion that your archaic belief is somehow scary to us, when in reality, we criticize people like you and Shock because you are both deplorable human beings. 
The fact is, your actions have proven that you're not a very good Christian, so going after you as one is a false statement, and is expected with a fundamentalist like you, who always has some kind of persecution mentality. This video is meant to be a warning to other Christians, that if you interact with Nephilim Free, as the female moderator in Shock's chat room did, and then you do something to upset him, he has no problem with throwing you under the bus as well. Neff has been trying to scare me to stop the release of this video by threatening to sue me and others for slander. Well, Neff, you fail to realize that I am not as dumb as you are, and that I always have my bases covered. If you upload a video slandering me, I'm going to own your house, pal. I, I'm going to uh, I'm going to make the biggest possible uh, thing out of this that can be made. I'm going to actually go to the to a, to an attorney and have something done about it if a video gets uploaded fabricating things and slandering me okay I did not say anything sexual to that girl if if you've ever believed anybody in this world about anything buddy you need to believe this because I am dead serious of it I want you to tell every one of your friends that every one of them involved and I have a list every one of them involved will be getting a subpoena if a video slandering me goes up on YouTube I've had enough of your games, all of you atheist bastards. I've had enough of it, okay? If you try to question the legality of me having these screen caps, you will be interested in Title 18 of the United States Code, subsection 2511.2.d, which says that I can have these screen caps as long as one of the parties, in this case the female moderator, gives the consent of my having intercepted these communications. If you try to accuse me of slander or libel, you'd be interested in knowing that the burden of proof of libel and slander are on you. You have to prove that the things said in this video are not true. I have the screenshots of the communications unaltered, and I am sure that the female moderator will be more than happy to testify as to the authenticity of these communications. So go ahead, Sporty. It's your move. Sue me, Dick.